So the next thing we're going to do is create this pelvis piece right here. Hit one on the keyboard, right mouse click, grab the face. We'll extrude that down. And create a little bit of a, a lip there. Let's scale it in a little bit, just so we've got an angle here. Uh, we want to make sure it's not intersecting that other piece. So uh, it looks like it is. So I think what we're going to do is grab this edge right here. I double clicked on it. It's going all the way around. And I'm going to scale it in just a little bit more. There we go. So it's not interfering so much with the other, with the leg piece. Actually, we'll just grab the face a little easier. Scale that in. Okay. Okay, with that in place, we're going to just draw some lines across here, splitting up polygons. It's grabbing outside there. I have to hit delete. There it goes. Enter. Enter, and then one across. I'm going to select the faces, so just holding the shift key down, selecting those. I'm going to hit extrude once. That's pretty much, uh, I'm just going to use that to kind of create, I pulled it down slightly, but that's pretty much an edge loop right there that we just sort of inserted ahead of time. And I'm going to grab it and drag it down below the cylinder piece right there. I'm going to taper it at the bottom. So I'm scaling it in on X as well as Y. So tapering it in both directions like that. And then I'm going to right mouse click and select the edges right here in the center. W on the keyboard, and I'm just going to pull those down a little bit just to round it out here. Following the form. And I think uh, let's go ahead and grab this object here and just move it down slightly. It's just gotten a little, little tight up in here. There. It creates just a little bit more space. Okay, uh, we'll have to insert some edge loops here to hold these forms together. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to drop one on the bottom first. And one is already created right here for us. I'm going to drag one across here. Another one right here. All right, and if we hit Three on the keyboard, see what that looks like. All right, so if you're wanting a little bit harder edge up here in the front without it affecting sending edge loops, you know, all the way up here to the collar, which is what it would do if you inserted that, we can actually detach this and make it a separate piece just by selecting faces. So if I hit W on the keyboard, uh, we actually should be getting this whole little edge right here too. So we're just going to detach these faces here, make it a separate piece, and then it will kind of fit back up inside. So we'll come under Mesh, Extract, okay. So now we've got, go to Object Mode, we can see we've got two separate pieces here now. And we'll have to insert an edge loop on here to hold it together, that edge. And now we can insert some edge loops on here without it interfering with anything above on the torso area. So we can actually drop one in here and here. 
It is going to change the edge a little bit on uh, these points right here. Let's take a look at it and see. Let's hit three on the keyboard for this. You know, I think I can live with that uh, down here, these little edges. Might want to maybe pull some of the edges away if you want to. So if you kind of pull the edges away, it will soften it out a little bit more. Do the same thing over here. Pull that away. And I think I may actually want to grab these edges right here and kind of round out this area a little bit. And maybe that piece right there, and just pull that down. These two edges on the bottom, and then just pull those down a little bit. All right. So back to object mode. So now we've got our pelvis in there. The leg is complete, and the next thing we need to do is create the foot, and we'll do that in the next lesson. All right, so I've come back here and just revisited this uh, edge right here on the pelvis. I didn't really like how the edges were being affected by the edge loops that we did to create the hard edges here. So I've selected all the faces all the way around here, and I'm going to just extract that and make it separate. So we've got two separate pieces now. See that there? And I'm going to go around here and double click on the edges that I want to get rid of. Uh, actually, it's not that one. It's this one right here. As well as there, here and the last one there, and two more over on this side as well. So with those all selected, I'm going to delete the vertices and the edges. Hit three on the keyboard, and you can see that kind of rounding out now a little bit nicer. Uh, let's hit three on the keyboard here too, so you can kind of see how it's affecting that. So I'm going to scale this area up are on the keyboard. Um, our pivot point is up here. Let's go ahead and center it around this. All right, so we're just going to scale that up now. And I think that looks a little bit nicer. You can even scale it out a little bit wider. And I think what we'll do is just kind of reshape this, grab the edge on here, extrude that, center it in world space, scale it in. So it's coming into here now, and I'm going to go ahead and under Mesh, say Fill Hole, we'll have to go back and quad that off. And this one right here, um, the pelvis piece now, is kind of uh, going up inside there. We can kind of modify that a little bit. The, um, Pivot is up there now, so let's bring that down. So we've got this little uh, kind of flap coming out here. I think the way I'm going to kind of deal with that is maybe just bring this down, scale it just a little bit, like so. Push it back up. Grab the edge along here. Just double clicking that, extruding it and pushing it up. So it's just kind of rounding that area out. We could probably center it and scale it up a little too. Okay. And probably pull it up in there just a little bit higher. All right, so we can maybe grab a couple of these edges here. We'll probably have to insert some edge loops on there. Hold it together. All right. Back to three on the keyboard. Select that as an object, and we'll just um, pull these little edges up here and kind of tuck them in side. Uh, but I think that just looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, this doesn't bother me so much right here, this edge, uh, but I just didn't like the looks of this uh, in relationship to the lip we have here on the torso. 
I just thought it kind of broke up the the continuity too much. All right, so minor little detail, but uh, I think that looks a little bit better. And uh, we have a little bit of intersection right here, so we'll just make some adjustments for that. And I'm going to quad the face off on there. Um, actually, I can probably just delete the face since we don't see it. I'll just grab the face and delete it on the inside and drop in an edge loop here, hold it together, and that should, that should do it for that. All right.